Stop me if you've heard this one before. Based on a young adult novel, set in the future, it's a dystopia, and it stars a main character who's really special somehow. Hey guys, welcome to my review of Not Divergent, uh, also known as The Maze Runner. It is a movie that came out recently and I got to see it in the cinema. It is based on a young adult dystopian novel, surprise surprise, and it stars Teen Wolf's character known as Styles. Dylan O'Brien I think his name is, but nobody cares about that. In any case, when I went into the movie I was like, oh god, not this shit again. Because so many dystopias, so many young adult novels, so many adaptations, so many disappoint. And I thought this would be just another brick in the wall, so to speak. But to my surprise, the movie was not exactly bad. And at some point, when it's not screwing up, it's actually kind of good. The basic premise of the movie is that a young boy wakes up in the center of a maze and he has no memory of who he is, how he got there, and he is in a community of other young boys and they're all living there. And apparently the maze is uh, something that changes at night and there are monsters in there maybe and they're just trying to live there and figure out what to do. The concept is really interesting. The execution is not that terrible. The boys in there have a functioning society. Apparently they've gone past the whole Lord of the Flies bullshit and the main character himself is not particularly special. His very presence doesn't shake up the world as much, which I appreciated. He's just another guy who just happens to be more curious than other guys. Because he's new, he's not really being held down by the same stereotypes or fears that they have, which I think is pretty good. The things that I liked about the movie are the fact that the maze is really well made and the mystery is really well done. I wanted to know so much more about it and the movie gave me enough information to keep me interested and held back just enough so that I would want more. There was not a point where I could just guess what was going to happen next because anything could have happened in the sense that the reason why everything was happening, what was going on, why these characters were there, it could have been anything. Out of the huge playbook of science fiction, it could have literally been anything. And I like that. That was a sense of mystery there, even for me, the person who's seen a lot of sci-fi as well. And although the resolution, once again, was not exactly how I would have done it, I was okay with it, I think, because now I want to see what they're going to do next. The movie itself was everything that the Divergent movie wasn't. It was engaging sometimes, it was fun sometimes, the acting was okay sometimes, the mystery was interesting, I mean, there was a mystery, which is something that the Divergent didn't have, and the conflict was actually really interesting as well, because there was a sense of impersonality in it, because it's not just boys versus boys about what to do, it's boys versus the maze as well, and the maze is not really a character, it's just a thing. It gave me major Attack on Titan vibes because these people are stuck in a situation and they can't reason with it, they can't talk to it, they can't figure it out in any other way other than directly going for it. And I like that. I don't really have much to say about this movie because it's just another one of those movies that I happen to enjoy slightly more than I thought it would. So the rating that I'm gonna give The Maze Runner is not as shitty as it should have been. Everything about this movie screams are not divergent and I love that about it. There are parts in it that don't make sense because of course there are, come on. And also, obviously, this is the first movie in a trilogy. The next movie is going to be called The Scorch Trials and it's coming out in 2015. And that doesn't really matter because the movie itself is rather self-contained, which I'm very happy with. Watch the movie. It is not the worst thing you could be doing right now. Anyway, that was my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you on another day with another video. In the meantime, I would like to wish my friend Sean a get well soon from me because get well soon, dude. I don't like seeing you sick. I'm the sick one. And for everyone else, I say have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.